Hey guys, welcome back to Game or Pass, the series where I take a random game from Microsoft's Game Pass collection and play it for as long as I can stomach to make a simple verdict. Game or Pass. Today I'll be checking out The Big Con, a 90s themed indie adventure game developed by Mighty L and published by Skybound Games. For those of you who grew up in the 90s, there's a fun retro vibe that will instantly bring to mind classic cartoons like Doug and other Nickelodeon cartoons. For those born post 2000, stop making me feel old and prepare for a history lesson. Playing the role of Ali, you'll embark on a journey across America as a runaway teen con artist, trying to raise money to save your family's video rental store. For the young bloods in the audience, video rental stores were like Netflix, except your choice actually mattered and rather than just flicking through options you were picking through row after row of films and you just had to hope that you didn't get the scratch DVD version uh, and remember to bring it back on time. Yeah, Netflix is easier. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, the big con. As an homage to the 90s, the game is a huge success. From the vivid, almost toxic colour palette to the on-point fashion sense of the various characters you interact with, the game mixes comedy and nostalgia with equal measure. From pickpocketing everybody within arm's reach to eavesdropping on private conversations, you'll need to use every trick you can think of to save up the eye-watering sum you need to save your family's business. Whilst the game does a lot to build up the human element of relationships, such as that between Ali and her mother and her friends, it definitely rewards those who wake up and choose chaos. At times, it almost felt like a simplified Monkey Island game. Find a stranger who needs something, explore the environment to find clues, hand over random items for financial gain, you know, the usual thing. Each of the areas you visit are colourful and fun to explore, with an engagingly simplistic plot that moves along at a swift pace after a bit of a lethargic start. The soundtrack is also a bop, and yes I will be using the term bop, stick with me. It carries the vibe of 90s cartoons to perfectly complement the fun visuals and smart writing. The Big Con is by no means a difficult game, but the journey is entertaining and the quick wit of the protagonist kept me smiling throughout my playtime. So, verdict time. Even if you aren't old enough to get a kick out of the retro 90s vibe, the Big Con is still a fun and charming adventure puzzle game. It's fairly short, funny and embraces the unique style with confidence. And if you are old enough to remember the 90s, welcome to the club and prepare for a shot of nostalgia. It definitely gets a game rating. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed my review of The Big Con. If you did, hit those like and subscribe buttons and maybe leave some suggestions for other games you'd like to see me have a look at in the comments. Keep an eye out for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching and see you soon.